Well, it began for them after Hurricane Katrina, and now Ida has caused the Cajun Navy to mobilize yet again. But as Scott Brazda tells us, this time its efforts will be part of a ground force. The Cajun Navy ground force hitting the ground on their way to Homa and to Thibodeau to do some great work, bringing light to the folks of Homa who really need that beacon. Are y'all ready to cut some trees? Yeah. We're just going to caravan down. Do y'all have Zello? Be safe. Um, we have equipment for y'all to wear, so we have hard hats. So be careful driving. Okay. Uh, be alert. Look for power lines, trees, anything in your way. Any questions? We're going to roll. So we are actually going into Homa where there's a tremendous need between Homa, Raceland, Thibodeau, Donaldsonville, that whole region needs a lot of help. Right now, we'll probably be the only first responder um, nonprofit type organization there for a while because of how it's geographically located. Part of the reason is that right now help is not coming from New Orleans. So the Cajun Navy ground force, already with a prep team in place in Homa, rounded up a second set of volunteers who this morning came to this Lafayette staging area with tools, supplies, and giving hearts. There's a lot of stuff going on out there, a lot of destruction. Uh, spoke with uh, somebody in our team that's out there already. It looks like they've got a lot of trees down and a lot of work that needs to be done, a lot of people that need to be helped. The route's clear all the way, all the way to Walmart, where we're gonna, we're gonna go to the Walmart and we get started from there and just span out and start clearing trees. Volunteers for this mission of the Cajun Navy Ground Force came from both local and Texas sources, and everyone has something to contribute to the four-day relief effort. Founder Rob Godet has been in touch with HOMA officials since Wednesday, and he says when the force arrives, it will immediately work with recovery efforts already in place. And so we don't go in cowboy and, and try to run things. We go in as a part of a system, and we feel a need based on um, what they tell us. Rob says there are also a couple other ways to help if you can't get out there, um, perhaps dropping off some materials, some supplies. Those are always very welcome. And, of course, financial donations can also be made on the uh, Cajun Navy website. Ian Lafayette, Scott Brass, KTC TV3.